family right now this is how our backyard looks as you can see so boring there's nothing really going on here the plan is to um, get rid of the grass and level the ground and then you know, do something there yeah so watch the video and see how we're gonna turn like this place to a magical area okay <laughs> Hope it turns out great, but yeah, this is how it looks. The Lord, I pray to the Lord for the mother Jamila. Everything being safe again. So, hey, family, the first thing we're gonna make here is our planter. Okay, so we are gonna be using this 22 inch whiskey barrel that I got from my local Sims Club. I think they were about $14.99 per barrel. So, we went in and add our mortar mix. And we didn't use a specific measurement here. We were just looking for a certain kind of consistency. The thicker your mixture is, the faster it dries. So you do want to have your mixture thick. So we put in the um, mortar mix, the powder. As you can see here, we put in the uh, powder into the barrel and then added water based on the consistency we were looking for. So it's all up to you. Like I said, the thicker your mixture, the faster it dries. So that's what we have is thick and that's what we were looking for. Now we will be putting in our four by four into that mixture and then at least let it sit for a day. Give it a day to fully dry uh, or to have it hold together. At least a day and then you can go ahead and add your potting mix or whatever you're going to be doing in there you can go ahead and add it but for now the way it is we will be adding our four by four post into that and it's going to sit for a day and then when it dried we will be adding in the potting mix and then add flowers into that you know just make it look beautiful you can go ahead and pinch your four by four and just make it look pretty so right now my husband is just adding in the four by four and it's going to sit again give it a day again to dry and as you see the post is already dry So my 4x4 is completely dry. Now I'm going to be drilling in some holes. If you are going to be using this as a planter, of course, you do not want water sitting in your whiskey barrel. You do want to have some holes in there. So just in case when it rains, the water can be able to come out. So please do not forget to drill holes in your planter. Okay, and that's what I'm going to be doing, drilling holes in my planter. Again, like I said, just in case when it rains, the water can be able to come out. Now that we are done with our planter, we're going to go ahead and cover up the area that we do want to cover up using this um, heavy duty landscape fabric from Home Depot. We purchased about four or five rows and we're going to use that for this area. And after that, we're going to be adding some mulch on top and that's it. All right, guys, go ahead and watch the process. <music> We also had our mini helpers. They were so eager to help. <laughs>
now it's time to add the edging and one thing I forgot to say if you can double the fabric go ahead and do that that way it um, minimize the chances of the weed coming out very fast so even if they come out you can just you know pluck it out but it minimizes the chances of them growing out of the fabric faster so now it's time to add the edging like I said we also got the edging from Home Depot <music> Now it's time to add the mulch. So we, we, we picked the red mulch for this area. And here family, if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. We really appreciate you know your support. Um, don't forget to like and comment. So now it's time to, you know, add some flowers to our planter. Now let's add some decor to this backyard. So I got those outdoor curtains from Amazon. And hey family, be on the lookout. I'm going to show you how to make your own cinder black bench. The video will be coming out soon. Watch out for the video. It's very easy. So like I said, let's just beautify this place and you know, cut your day. <laughs> So that's when you see over there, I just repositioned it and I painted it and look at it. It's beautiful in that corner. <laughs> all right, family, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. And for you who are already part of the Grace World, we want to say thank you for all your love and your support. See you all in the next video. Bye.